welcome back in my previous session i discussed uh, the wi-fi which is wireless fidelity along with its architecture and uh, the details required for it are all covered there today it is time to understand what is li-fi li-fi is going to be the future and it is expanded as light fidelity um why what how essentially these three questions are there everywhere we are now using too many devices to uh, get connected to internet which means everything is connected to internet and uh, right from the kettle right from the refrigerator your navigation devices your phone your laptops your tv everything is getting connected to internet so what's so bad about it there is nothing wrong about it the technology has grown but there are some questions which are still available in front of us to be answered first one is the internet through wi-fi safe not sure we are really struggling a lot to give a lot of security mechanisms to it second when so many devices get connected to internet the bandwidth gets shared so is the bandwidth sufficient for us anymore no we are in we are always in bandwidth crunch however big or however huge the bandwidth is we don't get the speed third how safe is your data and the modern era for the past few days the data is being spoken the most about so we need to really safeguard the data when number of devices are on the rise for example i get so many devices connected to the internet so many devices connected to the internet through wi-fi there is a chance that we could uh, get congestion and that congestion is the one that has to be avoided as well and so many questions are there in front of us other than whatever questions i have posted right now all these are to be answered if not today tomorrow which means we cannot postpone answering these questions for a long time so what is it do we have a solution yes whenever there is a problem there is always a solution Li-Fi is the one which is believed to be the solution. Li-Fi was the term coined by Professor Harald Haas in 2011 and he is the one who created the awareness about how light can be used for the purpose. So what is Li-Fi? I told you this, light fidelity and during testing as high as 224 Gbps was felt at such a stunning speed that people can really be very happy about when using. So what is Li-Fi? It's the solution. it's the solution for all the problems that we are facing today with wifi i can loudly say that light shall be used as the medium to transfer data that's the basic crux of lifi light shall be used as the medium for you to transfer the data yes sir do we need any special equipment costly equipment uh, any uh, new setup required yes there are minor things that are to be done but essentially um, there are very little add ons that we are going to make and it's not going to really cost you much so the infra related stuff you need not really worry about much and it's going to be simple so um, we discussed this yesterday what is wifi wifi uses radio waves to really transfer the content from one end to another end and the most important point as we know the rf is unsafe uh, you, you guys must have got this got this message when you uh, board the flight they say that please switch off your mobile phones or please put them in aeroplane mode which means it is not safe during flight so it is not permitted and when you go to hospitals near operation theater there will be a message for sure that please do not have radio frequency devices here so that's the reason wifi is stated little unsafe speed really not encouraging we don't have that much speed so lifi let's define lifi right now as long as this particular moment i had been explaining you the features explaining you the advantages now it's time to really define lifi lifi is high speed and bidirectional it is used for communication of data and the data transfer happens through light so light is nothing but the led bulbs trust me it's really really bulbs that we are going to use so the transferring of data happens through light spectrum instead of radio waves instead of radio spectrum like what we had in wifi all the challenges whatever challenges we have faced there in wifi can definitely be overcome here when we use lifi so lifi is also categorized as or can be categorized as optical wireless communication uh, and visible light is what we are talking about visible light is part of optical wireless communication and the light which is going to be used for data transfer is called as lifi once again so how lifi works the architecture is very important right the method is very important when you have a light bulb you can say that you have internet connectivity yeah sounds great right but not really we need a minor change there 
not all incandescent lights not all normal led lights will be helpful for you to do this we need to have some modification in the led bulbs which can transmit data uh, would it be very expensive sir not really now it, it appears like expensive but over a period of time it won't be definitely so why led is chosen sir why not other bulbs led is a semiconductor device and most importantly it will have switching characteristics because it has switching characteristics it can be used for data transmission as simple as that led has got switching characteristics and because of that we can go for data transmission with it now comes the architecture and it's a very simple architecture that you can remember you can see that i have one side of it connected to my server or to internet another side of it i have my mobile or laptop or desktop which receives the data and the intermediary i have led lamp so what do you mean by that this led lamp the modified led lamp is the one which is going to transfer data to you from the server or from internet to your mobile phone how does it happen sir it's very simple process i have a lot of led lamps here three led lamps i have got and all the led lamps are going to help you to illuminate and through that the data is going to be transferred data is transferred over wifi by modulating the intensity of the light essentially which is nothing but the dimming and turning on off of the led at very high speed which means based on the data which is being received here the led will be turned on off uh, intensity will be adjusted which will be at a very high speed you and me cannot see it it cannot be felt by the naked human eyes so the light will be then that that can be understood by the photo detector that we are going to have here the light trans the changes in the light the changes in the intensity will be received here and it can be felt by the photo detector and that will be further amplified which means it will be demodulated please understand the term it will be demodulated and that data the demodulated one will be again converted to digital form which is nothing but the data you get the data out received in the mobile phone or laptop or your desktop wherever you want the data to be received now how does it work is very simple the content comes here streaming content it will come via the led the led is going to fluctuate i can call it that way based on the data and that will be taken care of by this driver i'm going to talk about this driver little later and the intensity variation in this led can be felt only by the photo detector and not by you and me so after that changes are detected that changes would be taken as input and it will be amplified and further processing would be done which is demodulation and then from that the data can be retrieved so the medium is light from where the data is received so all the led lamps will need a led uh, lamp driver so what is this lamp driver the driver will get the information from the server or from the internet and that information is encoded here that's what is happening here in the lamp driver so essentially the data from the server or from the internet gets into the uh, led uh, lamp driver and from there it goes into the lamp so the data will be sendable only when you have led lamp driver here and the flickering that happens here will be based on the data that is being sent by the led lamp driver the photo detector is a simple sensor we will have lot of photo detectors starting from ldr in the market and that can detect the minor changes and most importantly the changes will help you in detect what kind of data are we receiving so what is it all about it is secured efficient fast and is an effective alternative to rf there are disadvantages yes there are minor now light cannot pass through the walls that's a major disadvantage but it is an advantage you should say your data is safe nobody can intrude your data you are now wifi even if there are walls it go out right it, it is not the problem here in this case of um, wifi and the infrastructure initially now could take a, a bit more time to get uh, settled down because it could be little expensive now and most importantly how the receiver can send the data back to the transmitter in wifi that's still a challenge and not many concrete articles are also available on that but it is possible so that's where we need to uh, throw a bit of energy there to create something new there uh, with this i complete my session on wifi so please understand wifi is an effective alternative to wifi wifi uses radio uh, where uh, wifi uses the light as the medium only thing that you need to have is i need to have an led which is led lamp which is slightly modified which is controlled by a led lamp driver and based on the fluctuations you can receive the data 
after the photo uh, detector detects it that's it this is safe this is going to be the future and for sure this will evolve thank you very much for following my channel i'll get back to you with more inputs in my next session uh, which is probably planned for tomorrow or day after i'll get back to you there thank you very much for following my channel if you have any queries comments please type it in the comment section thank you